Oftentimes we think of emotions as kind of interfering with our cognition, getting in the way of high quality, clear-headed thinking. But uh, nothing could be further from the case. In fact, uh, the most nuanced, the most high-level, mature, wise thinking uh, in all domains, even what you would traditionally consider a cold cognitive domain, like deciding whether it's a good idea to sell your house in this real estate market or to hold on to it for another two years, you know, decisions that you don't think of as emotional, all of these decisions actually benefit from an emotional component. In fact, they have an integral component of emotion related to a feeling of riskiness, for example, that comes from your past history and experience with similar kinds of decisions. Um, and when you take the emotion out of the decision, what happens uh, is the decision gets worse, not better. Um, and so what we find is that there's a very critical role for relevant, nuanced emotions in high-level thinking. Being a happy and a healthy person is being able to regulate your emotions and that does not mean simply putting the kibosh on them and trying to stamp them out uh, so that you can make clear-headed decisions. In fact, there are uh, certain patient populations with particular kinds of brain damage uh, who uh, actually have a kind of a dissociation between their emotions, so to speak, the driving aspects of their emotions and their high-level decision-making, and they end up anything but good decision-makers. These people actually become somewhat psychopathic, uh, and they don't make good decisions in business or other kinds of uh, analytic contexts either because they don't have a sense of riskiness or a sense of what's relevant. Emotions are critical for human behavior and adaptive functioning because, uh, like I said, they actually are the thing that help to push our behavior in a particular direction. They help us to be able to think in ways that are going to match the uh, circumstances that we're facing. Without emotions, your cognition has no impetus to match itself, to make you fit yourself well into what's going on around you. And uh, in the most basic sense, emotions keep you alive. They're the things that keep you out from in front of moving buses. They're the things that keep you out from uh, off of the edges of steep cliffs. Um, and they're the things that make you uh, fall in love and have families, but they're also the things that steer your everyday thinking and decision making from moment to moment. And without them, uh, it, it's impossible actually to live. We need to be aware of what's going on around us because that's the only way that we can adequately uh, and in a nuanced and fine-tuned way adjust our own behavior to what's going on around us and behave appropriately, treat other people appropriately, and, uh, and act in an advantageous and uh, pro-social way, in a way that promotes uh, healthy uh, relationships in uh, society and in the world. Uh, and the only way that you can do that is to be constantly evaluating and uh, assessing the situation around you. And part of that is a kind of an emotional awareness. Although I would caution people uh, not to separate emotional awareness from other kinds of awareness as if it's something special. Being emotional is really a piece of cognition. It's about being able to accurately take the perspective of other people, understand why it is that they behave the way they do, predict the kinds of things that they're like likely to do next and use that to adjust your own behavior and your own learning around the social context. Being able to accurately predict and take perspectives of the people around you is very critical because uh, it helps you to know what's about to happen and adjust your own behavior. If you don't do this well, then uh, your life feels out of control because you can't adequately predict what's about to happen and, and so things take you by surprise and that can be very uh, disorienting and even traumatic in the most extreme cases. Emotions are skills like other kinds of cognitive skills. You can learn to read, you can learn math, you can learn a new skill like uh, in order to become a real estate agent, whatever it is you're interested in doing. You can also learn to hone the skills you have for feeling your own reactions to situations, and you can learn to hone your skills at inducing more complex reactions to the situations in which you find yourself. Mm -hmm.